Um, what do you expect of, uh, of your team tonight? You guys have had pretty good luck against the Dallas Stars, but uh... well, I don't know. We played them once, and uh, you know, we I thought outchanced them through two, and they outchanced us seven one in the third when we got on our heels. Uh, in watching all the pre scouts in the last four games, Dallas has really generated a ton off ozone faceoffs, and they start winning draws, and they get heavy in the offensive zone. They got talented, talented people. Obviously, three on the back end is is a real dynamic player, and we all know the other guys. So it's important that uh, we do a good job in the faceoff circle. We execute in D zone and spend some time in the offensive zone here tonight uh, to have success. So uh, you know it's a, a big game for us, and we're excited to play. What key role have the wingers played in the success of your centermen and, and 51% on the draw? Yeah, I mean, 51 is not quite good enough, but in saying that, uh, you know, it's important. Obviously, all those 50-50 battles, uh, I always say to guys, you know, buy your wingers a few stakes and then bribe them to win some of those 50-50s and your percentage goes way up. So we want to have the puck. To me, it's the easiest one-on-one -on -one battle in the game. If you're mentally focused, you have a chance to win that. Mike, what's the biggest challenge for a young defenseman like Morgan when he's going up against an elite talent like Jamie Benn? Well, I just think uh, Benner got to Lynette a ton against us last game. He's going to have to work real hard uh, to keep him away from that thing about Benner. When you cross-check him, you try to keep him away. Sometimes he punches you in the head, so you got to respond to that a little bit. And so, uh, you know, that's a challenge for him. Uh, Rise is getting better every game. Uh, he makes more plays without the puck than he did for sure early going. He's breaking up way more plays, and he's been on for less chances against and that's critical for us and we're going to continue with that focus obviously playing with Hanwick who seems to stand in the right spots helps him but uh, they're doing a good job. Winnick stay out tonight? Yeah I, I never even thought about him I mean if you couldn't practice you can't play. Uh, James uh, started his little run against Dallas so a really good game for you what do you like about his game that you've seen in the last four? Well I think he's playing more confident you know the, the other night in Washington he, he didn't let any of those squeakers Ovechkin beat him on one of those ones and it went out the side that he'd like to have back uh, you know, Rams has played well for us. He's uh, uh, given up a few squeakers he'd like to have back and saying that though he's battled and I think as he's battled and got on this run he looks more comfortable. The puck's sticking to him better and it's not coming off him all the time and that's a comfort thing so good for him. I think when you get an opportunity to start and you get a start every night your job as the goalie is to keep the other guy on the bench and as long as you play well that's what you do. Is there a point of emphasis with Peter Holland tonight? Well, I mean, to me, it's straightforward. It is, it is if you compete hard enough, you get to be in the lineup. If you do the right things, you get to be in the lineup. And you know, sometimes as players, you think about, oh, gee, this guy doesn't like me. It has nothing to do with liking anybody. If you play good, you get to play. If you don't play good, you don't get to play. Now, Bernie is on the trip. Is it Bebo backing up though? And yeah, 